How do you cope when you can't even trust your conscience? When you know you're in a monologue, ain't speaking nothing but nonsense, some fighting the fine name. But it feels like I'm going insane. Like my head is playing mediator between three separate frames and they all got separate names like depression, anxiety, and manic paranoia. They'll talk your ass into a corner to you a corner of beats ready to pounce on anyone they glance It's convinced that everybody be coming for you. You can try to tell them to shut up, but they'll just ignore you. Your mind is their party and they gon' bring some friends. Now you can't sleep with all the chatter, that's when the real fun begins. Meet insomnia. He'll keep you up all night. Now you can't even close your eyes and look inside and see what other demons these voices within might invite. Now suicide is knocking at your door and with no other end in sight, you think you're damn. I just might let him in. I just want this shit to end. That's when you see the light. Pick up a pen and start to write. And when I write, my knees shake. When the dope line smacks my mind, the moment hits me like a Richter scale, level five earthquake. I feel the earth shake beneath my feet. Every time I hear that little voice in my head, it just starts to preach, and I start to preach a higher level than before. This speak keep pounding in my head, and man, I cannot ignore the rhythm sets me free to explore the truth the Bible be telling me. Because every time I really start to pray, these voices seem to sing in the sweetest age of melody. It's so melodic, I start to feel that shit, and I start to like being psychotic. <laughs> Your voice is never said that way. Well, damn, I know I've been crazy. Crazy like last year I was holed up at MCB's mental department for a psychotic episode that they diagnosed as periodic. My shit retarded. It's like the bad half of my brain to lift it up as wrinkly as butt cheek and fart it all over my good name. Now I got too much shit on my brain. And the shirt is sick so much sometimes I've got a brother like me going insane. But it's not just my membrane. Cause I was at the point where I used to hurt myself just to feel the fucking pain. Like when I put the cigarettes up to my own and so I almost burned my fucking veins. Like I was trying to cauterize the cold blood that runs through it. And yeah, suicide did cross my mind, but thank God I didn't do it. But now I'm up here on the edge of the stage to get through it. I just might go through it. People in the front row screaming, don't do it, don't do it. But it's too late, cause I already lyrically slit my wrist. Now you can feel the pains in my past as they drip on each one of my cleansed fists. Now only then gone, and I've been reborn in a baptism of poetry and spit. I'm giving birth to a stronger me through my words and my lips. These first building upon the soul that began in my mother's hips. Now instead of trying to press me wide, I would use the past as those first steps on my spiritual ladder as I climb. And with each new level that I reach, I'm feel those inanimate breaths start to unwind. And with them, that tangle of voices starts to unravel, and I realize they're all one. One awareness, one conscience. And you, me, the Father, Holy Spirit, and the Son. Amen. All right.